Hi, I'm Kenneth Branagh, and this is my favourite cinema, the Queen's Film Theatre, Belfast. As a family, we went to the movies in Belfast whenever there was an event film happening, especially big colour, widescreen, technicolour, saturated colour, massive, massive stories on a massive screen, whether it was One Million Years BC or Chitty Chitty Bang Bang that are both featured in the film of Belfast. Everything about it was an event and it was packed with a colour that I never forgot. I knew about the QFT because it was opened in 1968, but I was too young to have gone to it at that stage. But when I went back in 1989, it was the first place that screened my first film of Henry V. So it was a nerve-wracking experience to go to the QFT, but it was an amazing reaction from the Belfast crowd. And I think from that moment on, it became my favorite cinema. We are on the campus of Queen's University Belfast. The building houses the film department, the drama department um, and the QFT and there's a film studio as well so it's a real hub of activity. The cinema was first established in 1968. It was a brainchild of Queen's staff and students who really saw a need for a different type of cinema in Belfast. At that point, Belfast had tons and tons of cinemas, but really the kind of programme was fairly standard across them and they felt like there was a gap in that market. The QFT, of course, was a beacon at that time. So it's already celebrated its 50th anniversary and it continued, opened, all the way through a most dark period in the history of Belfast, but it was always a window on the world. And it was a way of, of us seeing the world and the world seeing us. So the QFT became an incredible focal point, not just for movies. I think in recent years, the audience may be skewed a little bit older, sort of middle class. But I think in the past five or more years, we've managed to get a younger, more diverse audience in. You know, we've been a big supporter of the LGBTQ community in Northern Ireland and worked with the Outburst Queer Arts Festival for over 10 years. So it's an incredibly diverse audience, which I'm very happy about. It's right in the middle of what I call a sort of bohemian part of Belfast. There are theatres there, there's the university, uh, there's a really lively creative pulse. And so the QFT has always associated itself, I think, with the new and the exciting and the different and the very diverse coming to Belfast. So it's just a place, you know, you're gonna find a, a vast range of things and people who really care about movies, not only the people who watch, but the people who run it, the people who take care of the films or the digital presentations. You really feel it is a curated place where folk love film. We have two screens here. The biggest screen has 204 seats and the second screen has 91 seats. We installed new 4K projection, new sound system in 2018. And we also still have 35 mil projection in both screens, which we run occasionally, dependent on availability of prints, really. Belfast in Northern Ireland has a lot of multiplex cinemas, often showing very similar films and QFT is the only cinema in Northern Ireland that offers world cinema, independent cinema, documentary films. It's a curated, very carefully thought out programme, but we do dip our toe into the mainstream when I feel that a title fits with our audience and it's quite hard to put your finger on precisely what that is, but it's a certain flavour or style of film that we know will work for our audience and they're not going to question it, it kind of makes sense to them. What I love about QFT is that deep seriousness in some reception with utter kind of um, hysteria in other kinds of receptions. I love the difference in population that goes through that building. I've often played films to school children in there, the Shakespeare films particularly. Then I see cinephiles coming in there. Then I see people who want to come and see, um, you know, a more, more popular, overtly popular kind of film. And I think that they do an amazing job of trying to get the whole community in there and the whole community being being encouraged to have a sort of dialogue with that place. We try and bring as much opportunities for people to engage beyond just the passive film experience, although there's an awful lot to be said for that, but actually to give people opportunities to learn more about the films, what happens behind the scenes, how people navigate their careers and also learn about the art form. You walk through that entrance, that sort of hidden entrance at the front and then this world opens up with this large space and these two screens you wouldn't realise were there. And I think when people make that walk through the door for the first time, it has an effect on them and it feels like a welcoming, safe space. So they want to come back. So that builds that community. 
I think people expect to see excellence if they want to be persuaded to come away from the amazing things that are in their own front room via streaming servers if they're e e able to afford a range of them. When they go to the movies, it's a big investment of their time. It's now a different kind of investment of their time. So it's got to be good. You cannot disappoint in the cinema. I think QFT is an example of that. There's a high demand for excellence plus an openness to experiment as well. So I think that's important because you can't be too pressurized that you can't do good work. Our obligation as filmmakers is to really make the cinema an unmissable event, a must, must see destination appointment with a story in the dark. And particularly for me, with the big image and the immersive sound, that's what makes the difference. And if the story can ally itself to that treatment and that presentation, then you have that added value, that different quality that will take you away from even the greatest um, of your streaming services. Not to say it's better, but it's different. And that difference is really powerful. We all have a story to tell, but what makes each one different is not how the story ends, but rather the place where it begins. You he said me and that girl have a future. Well, why the heck not? You know she's a Catholic. And you call me her? Yes! You know who you are. Your buddy from Belfast, where everybody knows you. So the whole family looks out for you. Be good, son. If you can't be good, be, be careful. careful. And that thought will keep you safe. to cleanse the community. You wouldn't want to be the old man out in this street. You touch my family and I'll kill you. Was that our side that done all that? There is no our side and their side in our street. Well, there didn't used to be anyway. We're living in a civil war. This is the time to make a new start. My ma says if we went across the water, we wouldn't understand the way we talk. Shouldn't be a problem. I've been married to your granny for 50 years. I've never understood a word you said. <laughs> what do you want? I want you and my granny to come too. Bloody religion, that's a problem. Then why are you sending us to church? Because your granny would kill me if I didn't. Well, not death. Back here. <laughs> How could I leave Belfast? Everybody likes them and everybody looks after them. Belfast will still be here when you get back. Will you? I'm going nowhere you won't find me. The Irish were born for leaving. Otherwise, the rest of the world would have no pubs. What do you want? I want my family with me. I want you. You know who you are. And wherever you go, and whatever you become, that'll always be the truth. Be good, son. If you can't be good. And if you can't be good, be careful. <laughs>